Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. Thanks for joining us. Today we thought we'd do an overview of our Xbox collection. Yeah. Uh, this isn't everything. This mm -hmm. is about 70 games. I have about 116. Mm -hmm. But these are uh, some ones that I have stories about or thought were interesting to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do the games, let's talk about the hardware real quick. Okay. Um, I have two boxed Xbox systems that were too big to put on the table here. <laughs> Uh, the one that Melissa's holding is my original one. It came with Sega GT and Jet Set Radio Future. And this one that I have here uh, is one that I got from my brother. And this one's in the box, so this one's a little heavy. But I do have these two box systems. Um, I got the one that, uh, the other one over there, the, the combo system in uh, June of 2003. Uh, EB Games at the time was doing some kind of a deal where if you buy the system, buy a game, buy a controller, um, they would give you some kind of rebate, like $50 rebate, and that brought the price down to, I forget, 180, 150, something like that, the system. And uh, so I pulled the trigger at that point. Uh, and then we were at a mall, and uh, I had to carry the thing around in a shopping bag for the rest of our time, and the Xbox is, is really quite heavy. But, uh, on, so what prompted that was that Melissa was out at the, uh, getting her car done. This is when we lived in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And she was getting her car done, and there was a store out by the mall that had um, Halo, the original Halo, on sale for, I think, around $38. And that was the first time I had seen that game go under 50 which was the custom, the, the, the standard price at the time. So I went out and grabbed the game, even though I didn't have an Xbox yet. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, so I got the game, and then later that night, I was like, boy, I really want to play Halo. I, I had actually bought, so I had bought another game prior to uh, that. I had bought Shenmue 2, uh, being a Dreamcast fan. I saw Shenmue for some cheap price. I don't remember what it was, but it certainly wasn't $50. And so I grabbed it, and uh, I bought this about a month before I had the Xbox, but it wasn't until I got Halo <laughs> that I decided I really wanted to play the game or get the system. get the system. So we went out and bought it in June of 2003. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, along with that deal, um, it came with, uh, I had to buy an S controller, which is here. And then since that time, I bought a uh, blue one. They got a blue one. I don't have a lot of unusual hardware, but I have a blue controller S and a green. And I have a couple of these I've been finding. And then in the last year or two, at just at Goodwill or at thrift shops, I finally picked up the original controller, the Duke, and I actually kind of like this controller. Um, the buttons, the the the, the a, X, a, 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 B, X, and Y buttons are a little odd, but the size actually feels it's pretty good. So I have a couple of these uh, Duke controllers, so I really like that. And then um, I also have a remote that I got. This is the this allows you to play DVDs on the Xbox. It won't play them without this remote, unlike the PlayStation 2, where you could use the controller. And then um, I actually got into Xbox Live a little bit before uh, Halo 2 came out. Um, my folks actually got this free with their cable mm -hmm. internet, or their, their DSL at the time, their DSL internet. And so it was a free, it was a free kit. It came with Crimson Skies and a headset in a couple of months, uh, 12 months. So I, I gave Xbox Live a try mm -hmm. and uh, really only tried it with, uh, X, with Halo 2 mm -hmm. and really enjoyed it. But that was, I've been doing Xbox Live for a while. Um, when I got my 360, my account name changed because uh, I can't remember why, but I didn't like the original one. So anyway, um, I don't have, that's it for the hardware. There's nothing real special there, but I wanted to show you guys all the games okay. that I've collected in the last uh, 11 years, I guess. So I mentioned um, I bought Halo before we bought the system, just a few hours before. Mm -hmm. And I had Shenmue 2 for a while. And then with the system, um, it came with... Um, it came with Sega GT 2002, which I had had for the Dreamcast. I had Sega GT for the Dreamcast. And then Jet Set Radio Future. Um, this is on a single disc, but um, it's dual manual. And then with that deal, uh, you had to buy another game to get this rebate back. And so I bought Panzer Dragoon Orta. Again, big Sega fan. Mm -hmm. So this was uh, exclusive to the Xbox. I had a PlayStation 2 at the time, but I was buying exclusives uh, that were exclusive to the Xbox on the Xbox. So. Uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta. So those are the games I had initially, probably the day uh, the day I purchased the Xbox. And then for the rest of these games, I'm just going to kind of go through them and, and I've arranged them as uh, genre-ish uh, genre or just sort of one-off. So 
I'll just go through, them, go through them quickly. This is again is about two thirds of my collection and we'll just go through it real quick. Arctic Thunder, uh, grab this because it was a couple of bucks because I'm a big fan of Hydro Thunder on the Dreamcast. Beyond Good and Evil. This is a, this was a, I knew this was a sleeper hit at the time and uh, when I saw it for cheap, I went ahead and grabbed it. So I bought this, this is new, this is my original copy. Black, bought this a few years ago, um, I think just two years ago. I bought it because it's by Criterion which are uh, the developers of one of my favorite uh, games for the Xbox, which we'll talk about later. Castlevania, Curse of Darkness. Gotta get a Castlevania game. Uh, I think this is available for the PS2, but I happen to have the uh, Xbox version. Towards the end of the Xbox's life, I would end up getting multi-platform games on the Xbox because it was a little bit more powerful, and um, no, that's basically why. Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, this was a great, uh, greatly reviewed game. Uh, one of the, uh, there's a little bit of an, Unusual in the fact that it was based on a movie and it was actually quite a good game. Mm -hmm. And I have the remake of this for the 360 also. Crimson Skies. This was a. This was a. I don't know if it, this is the one that came with that starter kit or not, but I, I definitely bought Crimson Skies. It turns out that while we were living in Pittsburgh, I was at, in college, and Microsoft came to the um, campus, and I went to go listen to the developers of Crimson Skies talk about the development of it, and. Um, so I, I, I knew that I was going to want to get that game. And it, it ended up being one that I really enjoyed. In fact, it got, convinced my brother to buy an Xbox mm -hmm. just, just for that game alone. Uh, Gauntlet, Seven Sorrows. I don't know too much about this, but I got Gauntlet because I knew Gauntlet um, Legends from the Dreamcast. And there's other Gauntlet games for the Xbox. I don't know if you want to put those somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see how many yeah. I can hold in one hand. <laughs> ESPN 2K5. I bought this because of its historical significance. I bought it new, it was $20. Um, this was when um, Visual Concepts, uh, it was the last game they did, they were trying to compete with Madden, so they cut the price to, $2, uh, to $20. And I think this is the last uh, Visual Concepts football game because the next year ESPN got the NFL license. So um, I don't normally buy football games new, but this one I did just, uh, just because of its significance. Psychonauts, certainly another another uh, game that I knew was well reviewed and I got it towards the very end of the Xbox's life as these were disappearing off shelves. I saw it at a Toys R Us and I grabbed it. Uh, Red Dead Revolver. This is used. I got this because of Red Dead Redemption. I wanted to see where the series had originated. So I grabbed Red Dead Revolver. Okay. 10, you got 10 there? Okay. And Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Again, I had Super Monkey Ball on the uh, GameCube. Regrettably, I sold it when this one came out because this one is supposedly the contents of Monkey Ball 1 and 2 together. Wish I hadn't done that, but I do have Super Monkey Ball Deluxe for the Xbox also. All right, let's okay. see. Okay. All right, now let's see. Okay, so now I've got the Tom Clancy group. Oh my goodness. And uh, I've been trying to collect Tom Clancy games, but um, there's, there's a lot of them, so I'm losing track of which ones I have. This one I think I just got at PRGE, Rainbow Six Three. Uh, again, the only reason I bought it is because it's Tom Clancy. Ghost Recon and Ghost Recon 2. I had heard of these. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. But these I do know about, the Splinter Cell. This was one of the exclusive Xbox games that was um, one of the reasons, maybe one of the killer apps for the Xbox at the time it came out. And so I grabbed this um, and then went ahead and got the rest of the series. There's Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos. What is it called? Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory. Those are the original trilogies. Uh, these are the original three in the trilogy. And then, um, then later, once the Xbox 360 came out, they came out with um, some more, including a double agent for the Xbox. Uh, this, I think, is slightly different than the double agent for the 360, which I also have. This one I got uh, just a few years ago on Amazon, and it's, it's still sealed. Um, so those are my Tom Clancy games. Uh, moving on to, these are shooters. Let's see. Bring, uh, yeah, I'll do, these are first, these are military shooters. Um, we'll do Call of Duty, the big red one, or just big red one. Uh, trying to get all the Call of Duty games. Um, there's another one, Finest Hour, which I have for the PS2, but not for the Xbox, so I am looking for that. But here's Call of Duty 2, big red one. And then the Medal of Honor trilogy. I forget which order these go in, so we'll just do European Assault, Frontline, and Rising Sun. So I've got all of these uh, 
military shooters or uh, World War II shooters for the for the Xbox. All right, and then what have we got? Fighting games. Yeah. Let's do um, let's do this series first. So I got this was one of the first games I got for the mm -hmm. uh, the Xbox. Dead or Alive Three. Melissa actually got that to me as a gift uh, the first year we had the Xbox. And then I later found new uh, the Dead or Alive Ultimate Collection, which has Dead or Alive One and Dead or Alive Two. Now, Dead or Alive One was only originally released for the Saturn in Japan, I think. So, um, was kind of eager to play that. And then Dead or Alive Two, it's a remake of the Dreamcast game, which I also have. So, Dead or Alive One, Two, and Three. And I still try to find Dead or Alive games on the uh, the Xbox systems because of those two. Uh, okay, let's do these. Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance, and Deception. I think there are more Mortal Kombat games. These are the two I have. I may try to get the rest. But I remember at the time these were kind of a re-imaging, a reboot of the the Metal, um, the Mortal Kombat series. And so um, I think they're supposed to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then Soul Calibur. Again, big fan Soul Calibur 2. Big fan of Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast, so I had to get Soul Calibur 2. The first one I got was actually for the GameCube because you could play as Link. Mm -hmm. Then I got the Xbox version because it's um, it supports 720p. And I did finally get the Soul Calibur 2 for the PS2. So I actually have all three versions and they all have their uh, unique exclusive character. This one I think is, I forget who the exclusive is, Spawn. And then in the PS2 version, it's somebody from Tekken. I can't remember. All right, let's move on to this seer group. What do we got here? Driving. Racing, driving, okay. Forza made its introduction on the Xbox, so I grabbed the original Forza for the, and I have Forza 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. I think I have all of them, and I have Motorsport. But Forza, the original one, was only available on the Xbox, and so I grabbed that. Ah, one of my personal favorites, OutRun 2. Grabbed this the day it came out. The day it came out, I think Grand Theft Auto um, San Andreas came out, and um, Best Buy was doing a buy two, get one free deal. So I grabbed San Andreas for myself and my brother, and I grabbed OutRun 2 for myself. Um, big fan of the OutRun series. Don't have the 2006 version, which is a little harder to come by, but uh, do love this game. And then one of the games um, popular on the Xbox series is the Project Gotham. So I went, went ahead and got both of these. These are both used. I actually had this game new once, and I sold it back, and then I rebought it uh, used. Um, this is based on the Metropolis Street Racer series, which was available on the Dreamcast. So I grabbed these two for the Xbox. In many ways, to me, the Xbox was sort of like the Dreamcast 2. A lot of series that I knew from the Dreamcast continued on the Xbox. And then my favorite racing mm -hmm. series, I think, of maybe yeah. all time, Burnout. Burnout 1 and 2. These I got much later. This one I got. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Burnout 3 I bought when it came out. And then I got these two later. Burnout 3 is probably is my favorite racing mm -hmm. game of all time. Um, and uh, I, at the time, didn't ha I didn't have a lot of money. And I was really, really jonesing to get this game. And then Target did a uh, pre-order bonus with Halo. And Halo 2. And so they were doing like $10 off of another game if you pre-ordered Halo 2. So I did that just so I could get Burnout 3. I had never pre-ordered a game before. And uh, since that time, I pre-order uh, the whole, I've, I've pre-ordered many in the Halo yeah. series, uh, usually because they'll offer bonuses to do it. Uh, when we did Halo 3, I got a bonus to get God of War 2, mm -hmm. uh, and there's some other, I forget the other bonuses, but but definitely big, 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 huge fan of Burnout 3, I just love it. I'd like to get the PS2 version also. Which one was on my dad? That Played one, Burnout, Burnout 3. 3. Yeah, yeah, he used to love the, the Crash crashes. Junctions. Crash Junctions are good. Okay. Uh, this set is. Let's talk about sort of. Uh, these are some. These are some games that I believe are. I consider to be PS2 games that I wanted to see what they were like on the Xbox. So Grand Theft Auto. This is just um, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. It is not San Andreas. I do not have the, the trilogy. That's much harder to come by. Found this used somewhere. I think so. Got Grand Theft Auto just for comparison. Um, there was a claim at the time that this would support high def on the Xbox. That's not true. When it finally released, it does not support the 720 mode, so be aware of that. And then Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Went ahead and grabbed this at Toys R Us because it was a couple of bucks new one day. I thought I'd see what it looked like on the Xbox. So those are PS2 games that I happen to have for the Xbox. All right, some arcade collections. Capcom Classics Collection 1 and 2. Really glad I picked up 2 because I think it's a little bit hard to come by. Love these kinds of collections. Um, 
So grab those new. And then I also have the Midway collections, one, two, and three. And I just got one with this new case art at PRGE, so now they all match. Three is almost is exclusively racing games. Um, two has the Mortal Kombat games on it, and one just has a bunch of older, uh, you know, early to mid '80s. Uh, I can't remember what my interest in this one was mostly. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, got the Midway Arcade Treasures volumes one, two, and three. Glad to have those. All right, we got to do these. Oh yeah. Continuing. Now wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. So let's do these. So um, these are uh, these are just some series games that I have. There's a couple in the series. So we've got Dark Alliance, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance one and two. Now two apparently is a little harder to come by. I don't have the manual for one, but I have been looking for it. Have these two games um, in that series. Blinks one and two I just got at PRGE. Glad to have those guys. Max Payne another. Uh, series available on the Xbox that I, I went ahead and grabbed. Mecha Salt 1 and 2. Again, just got this one in the green case. I have the Platinum Hits originally. Grabbed the, Me one of the Mecha Salt games. Ninja Gaiden. Wasn't going to buy black, but when I found it real cheap, so I went ahead and got this. I had this first and then I got black when I saw it real cheap once. Uh, Prince of Persia Trilogy. Another great trilogy on the. Um, on the original Xbox. Uh, one, two. So it's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Times, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, Prince of Persia, The Two, Two Thrones. So that's the Prince of Persia trilogy on the Xbox. And finally, the X-Men Legends games, X-Men 1 and 2. Um, so I have those two. I'm in the middle of X-Men Legends. I haven't finished it. All right, Star Wars games. Let's see what we got here. This I found used somewhere. I just it's a du dual Clone Wars, Tetris Worlds, nothing big about it. Clone Wars. Seems like it's kind of cool. Jedi Starfighter. I'd like to get Starfighter. I think they made that for the Xbox. I think it's called Starfighter Special Edition. Originally a PS2 game, but um, I'll probably get it for the Xbox since I have Starfighter. Lego Star Wars: The Original Trilogy. I used to have um, Lego Star Wars One. And I sold it when I got the complete trilogy for the 360, but somehow I ended up with this one again. Maybe my brother gave it to me, but the original yeah. trilogy is worth keeping. And it's not great, it's platinum hits, so. All right, the classic, yeah. yeah. Knights of the Old Republic. Again, this, this, was a, this was a killer app for the Xbox at the time it came out. Um, very good, loved that game. And of course, I was, you know, really excited when, they, when Bioware went on and to make Mass Effect, another yeah. science fiction based RPG. So, um, yeah, Knights of the Republic. This one I bought with Splinter Cell, I think. They were doing some yeah. kind of This one was good. I still yeah. remember the music. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, and then this one. We didn't play through all of that. No. No. Gotta get to that. Yeah. And Star Wars Battlefront. One and two. Got two new. Uh, and was surprised to learn years later that it's, uh, it's also somewhat of a sought after game. So, um, glad that I got those when I did. I've played Battlefront. Haven't played Battlefront 2 yet. But I have those. And finally, let's do RPGs. There's not too many here. Mm -mm. Yeah, we did. We did kind of this, the Knights of the Old Republic. Let's do these guys. Mm -hmm. So I have um, Fantasy Star Online. I don't think there's any way I can play this online. There's no, there's no way I can play it online. I don't know if I can play it online. This is episode one and two. I kind of just buy any Fantasy Star game if I see it cheap enough. So I, this is used. It's not in great shape, but. Um, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, glad to have this. Um, I have the Platinum Hits version of this, but then I found the non-Platinum Hits version at a garage sale, so I grabbed it. Uh, this is the first Elder Scrolls game I got. I think I actually didn't get interested, well, I can't remember if I was interested in this before Oblivion came out or not. I think I was, I think I got this before Oblivion, but maybe the talk of Oblivion pre-release made me uh, go and check out Elder Scrolls 3 for the Xbox. Jade Empire, another Bioware game. I have the uh, limited edition version. With the red cover, I think the other cover is blue. Um, never played this, um, but grabbed this new um, shortly after it came out. Fable, another classic Xbox exclusive. Um, I have the Platinum Hits version, which has Lost Chapters. That's the one I played. That has some extra content at the end. But um, Fable, yeah, and I have Fable two and three for the 360. Ooh. And then let's do. Uh, okay, so we talked about. Um, 
I pre-ordered Halo 2. And I got the whatever this edition is. Limited collector's edition. And it has this sleeve on it. And it has this metal case. This was the first time I'd ever seen anything like this. It's fancy. It was fancy. And the manual here has a Covenant artwork in it. Um, are there two discs in here? Yeah. yeah, they look the same though. So, got the limited collector's edition of Halo 2. I remember I bought this game and then immediately had to go on a trip out to Oregon because we were moving out here, moving back out here. And we had to come out here and look for a place to live. So I didn't actually get to play this for a couple of days until I uh, got back, so that was, that was tough. And then later, then later my brother, he bought just the regular edition and he gave me that. And my interest in it is merely that um, it has uh, UNSC uh, artwork. I think that's the name of the game. Did so the manual is slightly different. You need to tell a story about this. I need to, what's the story? Your brother, so you were there at your brother's house to hang out oh, yeah. and play Halo. Yeah. Because we had been playing Halo 2. We've been playing Halo and 2 Rocket, local what multiplayer. We, what we call Rocket Ball. Rocket Ball. We go on. I, th I forget what the name of the I forget what the name of the map is. It's what, midship, mm -hmm. and you're inside the ship, and we would just play skulls mm -hmm. with um, rockets. with rockets as the only weapon, mm -hmm. and it was just a free for all, right? Yeah. So we were playing that. So then you went over to hang out with your brother at yeah. a place, and my yeah. brother was with you too, right? Yeah. I think the three of you were hanging yeah. out, and um, we just assumed that Rocket Ball would be available Halo 1. in Halo One, which we weren't that familiar with. Yeah. And it wasn't. We couldn't figure out how to play Rocket Ball on Halo yeah. One, so we went out. And to a 24-hour store, <laughs> and he bought Halo 2. Uh, he bought this. So uh, that's how my one brother got into Halo 2. Just so and then I got him online yeah. uh, to play it online. Mm -hmm. And then a little while later, uh, yeah. the map pack came out, and since I really like having physical copies, I bought the physical copy of it. Um, it seems yeah. in hindsight not, you know, not very valuable now, but, mm -hmm. but I do have the physical copy of the Halo 2 multiplayer map pack. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Halo 2, yeah, we spent a lot of time playing Halo 2. That was pretty much what we played online. Uh, mm -hmm. And I remember when they shut down the Xbox One servers, the night before they shut it down, I went on and played Halo 2 one last match uh, on Zanzibar. And uh, yeah, so Halo 2, that was a big one. Halo 2 and Burnout 3, mm -hmm. Knights of the Old Republic. Those are my mm -hmm. three uh, favorite Xbox games. But I'm still collecting for it. They're dirt cheap. Uh, it hasn't gone, you know, it's not considered a retro system yet, but. Mm -hmm. uh, the games are pretty cheap and I grab them when I can, so the collection's growing. Yeah. And this is just a small portion of it. So anyway, that's my uh, that's the games I'm interested in, the Xbox, the original Xbox. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.